Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to go over part two of adding Google Analytics code for A-B testing to our Shopify store. So let's jump into it. OK, so in yesterday's video, we went over adding all of the code that was required to Shopify to create two different templates. So let's just quickly go and review what we've got set up. So if we're on our Shopify store here, um, what we've got set up is we have two templates that are set to be able to be switched out with the view parameter. So if I go question mark view and I go option A, we can see that it switches out and it adds the price in there. If we go option B, we can see now we have a sold button without the price in there. So that's important because now that we have that stuff set up, we can now and go and add it into Google Analytics in order to be able to split the traffic that comes to our website 50-50. So 50% 50 of the people see the one button and the other 50% see the other button. And then we can start to see which one is more effective. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back over to Google Analytics and we're gonna set up a couple things that we need to add to the store so that we can do some event tracking. So if we go on to our Google Analytics or Google Analytics dashboard and we log in and we go to the home, let's start off at the home here. And we're gonna go, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to admin and we're going to set up a goal. So let's go to goals. Um, I've already set up a goal here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna walk you through setting up a goal on Shopify with the correct trigger code. So you need a special uh, JavaScript tri trigger code in order for Google Analytics to know when the button has actually been pressed. So let's go over to the Shopify dashboard and add that in. Now I have added the code that needs to be uh, added to it into the description. But basically what we're looking to add here is this on click code. So we're putting in here on click and we're gonna push to the GAQ uh, array. We're gonna add track event, click, add to cart, and yes. So when we've added that into the button, now we wanna add that into the, uh, the link of the button. Now this is HTML5, so this is using the button uh, tag in order to identify a button. So we're gonna use add on click. Uh, we're gonna add that in there. Once that's done, now we can go and set up the goal. So I have a goal already set up. Let's go and create a new goal. We'll start from scratch. So I'm going to goals. I'm going to create a new goal. And this is going to be, uh, it's going to use a template and it's going to use the add to cart template. And we're going to hit continue. And the goal description is going to be add to cart and it's going to be goal ID number two, goal set one. Because I've already got one set up, it's going to auto select the one that I need. And then I'm going to hit continue. And then in category, we need to fill out these values. Now, if we go back over to our code, we can see the first value we have is click. So the category it's going to go into is going to be click. The action is going to be add to cart because that's what we call the second variable. And then we need to add the label in there, which is yes. Add label in there. We're going to leave use, a trend, uh, use the event value as goal value for conversion. So we're going to leave that the way it is. Then we're going to hit save, and our goal is now set up. Now it's important to remember when you set up a goal, there is no way to delete a goal. You can only just turn them on or turn them off. So I'm going to show you how to turn those off. So I have set up two here, so I'm going to cancel out of this, and I'm going to turn off the first one so that it's only using the new one that we set up. So we want to remember that we're using goal ID number two and goal set number one. All right. So now we've got our goal set up. Now what we need to do is we need to go and set up our experiment. So if we head over to the home page and we go to behaviors, because behaviors is where we're going to need to go in order to uh, track what needs to happen. So we're going to go to behaviors and then we're going to go to experiments and we're going to create a new experiment. So this experiment that we're going to be doing is going to be the experiment for testing out the price versus no price in the button. So we're going to put price versus no price call to action. CTA stands for call to action. We're going to use the goal set two because this is the only one that we have currently set up on here. So we're going to go with that one. And percentage of the traffic that we want to put to it, we're going to use 100% of our traffic. And we're not going to set up email notifications of important changes. And we're going to hit next. Now we need to configure the experiment. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put in the first web page that we're going to test. So the first one that we're going to test is going to be View equals option A. 
All right, that's going to be the first one we're going to test. And then what's the second one we're going to test is going to be the second one, but we're going to go option B. And it's going to go and load the preview of the page. Um, now you can see it's coming up with my demo store there. That's a problem because I've actually turned the password on so that nobody can get to the store. So I need to go and turn the password off so that people can go and do the testing. I'll load up a new preview. And we'll do the same thing down here. Option B. So it's difficult to see in these small little previews, but we can see that there's the first one there with the price and the second there without the price. So then we can hit next. We've got our experiments configured and now we need to manually insert the code. So if we click on manually insert the code, we now have this code that we're going to need to go and add to the Shopify store. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy this code. We need to paste this code immediately after the head tag on the top of the original page. So if we go over to themes, and we go to edit code. And the place that we're going to want to post this is under theme.liquid. So we go to theme.liquid and we're going to put this code right at the top. I'm going to put in the code here and I'm going to save it. And once that's been done, It's going to go and it's going to verify the code to make sure everything is set for uh, the experiment. Now it's given us a check mark next to the original and the variant. The Google Analytics code has been found and the experiment code has been found. So now we can hit start experiment. And that basically wraps up everything you need to do to set up an A-B test inside Google. Now there is a lot that comes after that and pulling apart the numbers and finding out what they really mean. But from a technical point, that's how you go and do it. So thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell button if that's something you're into, and we'll see you in the next one.